Um, if they don't want to go into shelter, and a lot of them don't, they want to go with family, they want to go with friends. A lot of times they have um, family or friends out of state that they want to leave and go and stay with. And in that case, I will try and find an advocate to wherever they want to go who can help them out. Um, so that they're just not left without any, any help in that state or that city that they go to. Um, I give them different options. We go over, I don't tell them what to do. They need to take some of the control back into their lives because they have been told over and over what they can and can't do. And so part of the process is allowing them to make good decisions and taking control back of their life. And part of, and what I do is, okay, let's sit down, let's see how you can stay safe, and let's see what options you have available. And there are a lot of places um, and a lot of agencies here in Southern Nevada that are willing to help victims of domestic violence. If a victim needs help as far as legal services, we have Southern Nevada Legal Services, um, who has a pro bono project where if the victim qualifies, they will provide um, an attorney to help them through the court, family court, at no cost, which is fabulous. Because a lot of times there are, you know, divorce issues and custody issues. And custody is a huge issue with the victim because they've been told for so long, I will, you know, the abuser has told them, I will take the kids. There's no way you'll get the kids. And that's one of the reasons they'll stay. Then you do all this by yourself. I do that here in the ski. And... I refer out to different agencies depending on what agency, what infra or what services they may need. If they choose to stay here and say they need um, help with um, food or whatever, you know, we have the food banks, and so I, I put them in touch with with that. If they, if the abuser is in jail, and um, we just have a new program that started called the Vine Program where they can register on the computer or by telephone and when that um, abuser is released from jail, they're notified immediately that he is out of jail. So there is a lot of different things that the victim, victim can do to keep themselves safe. If they are afraid of going to court, um, I'll go to court with them and try and be their support system there. And, and if they have a TPO hearing where they want someone to go with them, I'll go, go, to, go with them to a TPO hearing. But what if they want the counseling? Okay. They don't want anybody to know and they want to stay here in the city. Okay, we have a counselor. We have Glenn Horlocker. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you know him. He's been here for much longer than I've been here. Um, and he is our safeness counselor here in Mesquite. He counsels victims, and he also runs um, the group counseling for the abusers when they're court ordered and it's all counseling. Free. And not that uh, the, for the victims it is. And my understanding is that for the abuser there is a fee, and it, there should be. He needs to take responsibility. Or she. Or she. Or she. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>